This is the new shipment. Uh, actually, it's from one of the same people. And it should be a Quinn Rose game, <clears throat> which actually reminds me of Trap of the Musk, surprisingly. So we'll see if that's uh, Arabians of the Lost. It's supposed to be a deluxe set if it's that one. And if he sent me the... shipment that was supposed to replace what was wrong in the last one, um, it could also be that too. But I think that'll take longer to get here. Wow. Oh my goodness. Massive amounts of tape. Yay, I got it open. <laughs> All right, I think this is it. Yeah, this looks like Arabians of the Lost. Goodness. All right. Did I get it? <clears throat> no. Dang that it. Goodness. Here we go. The engagement on the desert. And it is a deluxe set that I had ordered. Awesome. <clears throat> it is the right disc. Thank goodness on that. Ooh, all right. Awesome. This is the art book that always comes with the Quinrose items. <clears throat> These would be the characters in the game. Usually it's filler comics as well as like light novels for you to be able to read and kind of expand on the story with each route. Because these are Otome games. And there's the comics. And then those are the light novels. <clears throat> and then the drama CD. I love these. They're so cool.
All right. <clears throat> so that was everything in that one. Thank goodness everything was all right. I really do think it might have just been the Christmas rush. Hmm. This might actually be my BL Otome game that I was waiting for, Gakue Heaven. I actually ended up with a... It was only the second disc that time, and so I couldn't play it. But I have the second one, which takes place directly after the anime, <clears throat> and I started it up, but I just couldn't do it without the first one, so I've been waiting. That I actually have on uh, Vita. So hopefully, hopefully this has both discs, because it is that game. This is the first one. It looks almost new because it's got the cellophane wrapper on it. It makes me wonder. Don't remember buying new. Awesome! Disc one and disc two! Yay! <laughs> I can finally, finally play it. This is literally where the anime takes place. So you would decide which route you're going to be on. They have manga for it too, uh, which I do actually own the American ones, but there's more routes that they didn't release manga style um, here in the U.S. But it's available in Japan, and you can use like apps to read it if you need. <clears throat> so that makes me happy. And then to go along with the other uh, BL game, I have a few more in Steam, but these are my only physical ones. Uh, I bought this, which is also based on an anime. It is definitely... a bit hard more, or <clears throat> more hardcore. The anime basically takes place in France, I believe it is, and then you uh, are playing in the game, the main character guy, who gets locked away for false reasons and hidden away in like this orphanage slash like prison place, and uh, that's Enzai. The set together is called Absolute Obedience. And this one actually came to the U.S., so I got this one, uh, I believe from, <clears throat> like, California or something. I can't remember where it shipped from. But it does contain the Japanese voices with English subtitles. And it still works for most computers. <laughs> Enzai Falsely Accused. And it has an OVA series. I believe it's, like, one or two movies, about an hour length. Um, the other one would be, uh, let's see here. Can't remember. Because I didn't watch that one. Oh, it is just Absolute Obedience. And it's called a two-in-one pack. I totally thought that was the name of the package. I don't remember if there's an anime for the second one. But I know Enzai does. If you're interested, I do recommend these. If you're of age. <laughs> And they're still available, because you can get the second one of this on the Vita, and then you can get this one for PSP. Alright, you guys, that's everything. Bye!